So apparently I was wearing a night dress to work. Guys, Maramatubaya. <laughs> Do Malang, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm thinking about it's the festive season. So I'm going through my different sleep dresses that I will be rocking throughout the festive season, whether to go to work or to attend parties. Guys, please keep keep the invites coming. My name is Joey Lamini. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you will consider to join. If you are returning, thank you so much. And I'm also celebrating 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. So the first outfit that I will be rocking, either casually or for dinner, date night, it is this lovely green dress that I'm wearing in the video. I will show you full length. What I love about this dress is that I can make it casual or make it something that with heels and whatever, you know. So I sometimes wait when I go to work and I will put on a blazer, either a white blazer or a black one, then rock some heels. Or I can wear it for a date night with hubby and rock it with high heels or kitten heels, guys. I, as I've said previously, I prefer kitten heels over stilettos. I know my strength. Or alternatively, if I'm going for a picnic or a lunch date, I can also wear it with flat shoes. Let me know how will you rock it. Then the second one is this black one. I'm not really a fan of black, but the more I grow, the color is growing on me. You know, as I grow, I realize that, okay, there's something about it. You might be wondering, why don't I like, I like black clothes? My reason is that I feel like when you have black clothes, they need to be really, a really good quality. Because once it starts getting old, it looks, instead of looking black, black, it will look like it's black maroon. And also on top of that, when the the material it's something that is not really silky or it's fluffy it it grabs all these things you know that small onion things guys english is finishing but anyway i'll show you what i'm talking about so this black dress i usually wear it when i go to work i was wearing it even during winter i'll show an outfit that I wear either somewhere this side or this where I was rocking it with a polar neck with stockings and with a blazer then if I'm not doing that I will just wear it with a blazer a white blazer works or even a nude one then this is my outfit especially on Mondays I don't know about you sometimes I don't feel like going to work on Monday so what I normally do when I don't feel like going to work on a Monday I make sure that I dress up and that usually helps me to fake it you know I get about to fake it until you make it so let me know what do you think about this sleep dress is it is it something that you will consider or not then the third one is this orange number it's a new one that I got from Ackermans and I got it for like 190 something it was a total steal I loved the color because it was so vibrant and I was attending this event it was a bit cold so I had to wear it the first time with a black polar neck and stockings and heels and I was still feeling festive while keeping warm i don't know about you guys but for me i would rather be warm and not look nice than look nice and be cold so for me it's comfort over style or fashion we'll worry about the style when it's warm so this one i absolutely love the color and i love that i can also wear it at work it's december now so my style has changed a bit i'm hardly being formal but i prefer to be smart casual where i look like at least i made an effort but it's a little bit of effort <laughs> if you know you know right so is there something that you rock and you can rock this for an evening 
yeah an evening outing going for dinner for date nights and outing with friends or a solo date i'm still planning to do one i haven't done it yet but it's not over again it's still today's the six or somewhere there then the outfit that i also like this slip dress it's a bit of print nude and white i absolutely love the color because it's not too dark or too bright and i also can wait at work if you've noticed so far most of the outfits that i i buy when i'm buying them i want it to be something that i can wait to go to work i can wait for casual functions i can wait for fun you know because I don't want to be thinking that, okay, this is something I only wear when I'm going out with my friends or this is, I don't have work clothes. Yeah, I really don't have work clothes. Most of the outfits that I have, I can wait either for casual things or formal things. I just need to add either a blazer or heels or wear flat shoes according to the event. Are you that person who separates their clothes according to the functions or are you like me? Whatever you have, you just make sure that it's user friendly for different events and it's user friendly for where you are. And also we need to be mindful of the money guys, the money. Okay, so that is the outfit. Look at how. This is how I can rock it with a white blazer, with this new blazer. You will probably be seeing a lot of these blazers <laughs> because I am a proud repeater of clothes. I, we are too young to be pretend, too old to be pretending that we don't repeat clothes, guys. I don't even know where that idea comes from. The last one, which is my favorite, it was a bit pricey compared to the other ones, but it was worth the investment and it's like you know there are those items that you know that they are never going to get out of fashion that you can wear it over and over again years later i bought this for a friend's graduation party and the reason why i chose this color when i fitted it i loved how it looked on me and also her invite said that we must come looking like it's your own graduation yeah, that was hectic, but I did not expect anything less from my friend because she's like that. So I got this dress from Forever New. I loved how it looked on me. I loved the material. It was a bit pricey compared to my, <laughs> my taste and my budget, but I felt like it was worth the sacrifice. And so far, I've been enjoying it. I've worn it to different things i don't think i've went to go to work yeah i haven't yeah because sometimes some of my outfits i feel like they can be a bit extra nyana for yeah for casual or for work even if i rock it with a blazer but it's one of those outfits that i really love and i felt that it was worth the investment if you've noticed i'm one of those people that I love a good budget. I get so excited when I get something that's very affordable, but it looks nice. I love it when people compliment me and okay, if they ask, I'm able to say, oh, I actually got it from Small Street or I actually got it from this shop. It makes me happy. But I had to learn how to accept a compliment without telling people that, oh, it's actually cheap or it's actually <laughs> affordable or I bought it from this place or whatever. It's not an easy thing for me because I'm so used to, if you say to me, oh, I love your dress, my instinct is to say, thank you so much. You know, I only bought it for one rent, but someone actually called me out and said, I didn't ask how much is your dress or where you bought it. I just said, I love your dress or you look beautiful with that dress. So now I'm learning how to accept, you know, compliments without adding extra information am i the only one who struggles with this do you find it easy to accept compliments or you will either minimize whatever they are saying or if you are not minimizing it you will add extra unnecessary information i think that is one of the things that i had to unlearn as i'm growing up 
and as a black woman because i feel growing up we were taught that if you say yeah i'm beautiful it's like you are blowing your own horn which is a bad thing and it looked like oh you are so you've got pride you know and you are you are too full of yourself but as a mom of three i am finally learning that it's okay it's okay to know that no i look good it's okay to say this actually suits me and it's okay to accept and when someone is giving me a compliment it does not mean that uh, i'm full of pride but yeah it just shows that i know who i am and i appreciate it and i think there's a thin line especially for women when it comes to being humble and yeah being humble and actually minimizing who we are and what we do and the way we show up so and um, yeah let me know which one is your favorite item and if you want to know the details of where i got them comment below i will share with you i'm always willing to share the information that i have because there is room we can all look beautiful we can all win that is something that i believe in don't forget to like to comment and to share this video with others thank you so much and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe guys i'm looking at my teen son he's busy recording there he is busy he wants to press the the stop button every time i'm saying something he's like ha are you not done ha are you not done <laughs> thank you so much bye